I love being on stage, I love competing. It's just an amazing buzz. Meet Joel, a body fitness fanatic with biceps the size of watermelons. My first year of competing, I won two overall titles, I won a pro card, and since then, every single thing that I've entered, I've won. What I've seen Joel go through is just put me off fitness for life. Meet Sophie, Joel's girlfriend and reality TV star. When Joel first ever decided to compete, I didn't know anything about it. I was absolutely clueless. I think Joel was a little bit too. At the start, when he first ever did prep, it was like such a bad time because it changed who he was and it put a massive strain on our relationship. Now that the training's over, his social lives came back. Joel also earns cash as an international DJ. Court is just full on. For example, I'm in Greece tonight. We go to the airport right now, and then I'm flying straight from Greece to Ibiza for four nights. So, as you can see, like it's, it is literally that full on. But obviously, when I do go and DJ, I do get quite a bit of attention. There is girls there that you know they'll do anything it takes to try and get in the DJ box. See, my girlfriend Sophie, she's always on my case. I can't count the amount of times I've been blocked on every social media and. Because she is a bit of a nutter, <laughs> she is a bit psycho. But I do feel like sometimes I can be sort of second best and I'm not really a priority. I just hope that like, he doesn't forget that he does have a girlfriend still at home. My two passions was always DJing and fitness. And I've managed to turn them both into my career and make good money out of them. I, I literally do feel like I'm living the dream right now. Joel's back from DJing in Greece which means date night. I can't actually remember the last proper date night that we had. I've missed you a lot there, man. I've missed you a lot. You miss me? Yeah, of course, I miss you. So it's nice to be out anyway. I haven't seen you in like two weeks. It's weird. I might not have seen you for a while, but I feel like I have. Because all I do is watch the Snapchat stories. <laughs> and I know that you know that I watch. I know, I always Which see I know that you watch mine as well. Yeah, obviously. Social media is very clever these days, Joel. <laughs> you can see exactly who's watching your stuff. You know when you're not in prep? Yeah. Like, what is it like to be able to come out like this and just get what the hell you like? You know what, it, it sounds a bit over the top, but I actually can't even put it into words. Just to have that freedom to go and eat what you want and... Would you and not rather a life where you can do this every day rather than going through all that? I, this is a life. I do find it hard because most of the time I am on eggshells. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm scared to like even tell you how I feel or like what's upsetting us because I don't want it to interrupt your fitness or your training. Because I know sometimes we've like maybe had a little argument and you're like, I don't want to know. I don't want to speak about it, like, mm -hmm. it's not the right time. So, like, that's the bit that I find hard, like, I can't. Yeah, yeah. I have learnt my lessons yeah. to try and stop that from happening and, and just be as normal as possible when I'm in it, but I know it's hard. It's, there was, there is horrible times. I know, I mean, it's just difficult. Of course it is. Champion fitness model Joel is back from DJing in Ibiza and is taking girlfriend Sophie on a date. So obviously we're going to be together this weekend, which is amazing. Like then you've just been to a B5, then you've been all the other places. But then like, but how do I see each other going forward? Like, because I need a good plan. Obviously I'm ready now. I've saved up enough money to go ahead and put a deposit down on a place and get a mortgage. Last year you said you were going to do it in September, then this year you said you are going to do it. It's like, is it ever going to be the time? Yeah. I do make a lot of sacrifices to spend time with you and stuff. So like, I just sometimes would like it back. <laughs> like, I hate to be negative, but I just feel like there is a lot of negatives. Because then after summer, you're talking about doing another competition. Like, Jesus. Can go any more wrong? Fitness model Joel and bodybuilder Tom have come to a London gym to shoot a training video. It's really important that I put content out for YouTube. People who look up to you in the fitness industry, that's your way of talking to them. As world champions in their categories, other fitness fanatics are fascinated to know Tom and Joel's workout regime. 
Thank you, sir. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good session, yeah? You guys inspire me. Thank you so much. Obviously, I just want to give as much back to all my followers and people that follow me on social media and uh, give some tips on training. Yo, what's up, guys? So today, we're here at my gym with my boy Tom Cole with me. Good. Good, man. I'm going to show you some exercises, show some tips. You ready, Tom? Right. Let's get into it, bro. Thanks, Come on. <laughs> Two more. When I'm starting to lift a bit heavier, I like to really focus on the negative, contra negative contraction. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it nice and slow on the way down, and then explode on the way up. Videos like this can get thousands of hits and earn the boys wads of cash. <laughs> Shooting collabs is a great way to boost views because obviously all his fan base get, in, get involved and my fan base are engaged. So I think supporting each other in the fitness industry is such a big thing. <laughs> So that's it guys, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and get in touch with me and Tom also on Instagram, Twitter, wherever you want to know, get in touch with us, any tips, just give us a shout. And uh, bro, till next time. Till next time, man. With filming over the Boys Talk competition and women trouble. Congratulations, I'm so man, proud of you. Fucking... So you won the qualifier. Pressure was unreal, Yeah, like, literally like. You must be on top of the world, bro. And then the invite to the, to the, to the finals. Yeah. yeah, and what about you? I've got my invite for the British finals, UK BFF, uh, men's physique. So, um, yeah, I've got the finals in October. Oh, God. Uh, you know, so, like, really against Anti. me doing Yeah. <laughs> Anti-competition. I mean, it's so difficult to work, work her around it. But I wish you'd be a bit more understanding, but it's never going to happen. So for so, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, she, she don't like, she don't like it. She yeah. It. But, it's um... Right. But yeah, man, um, the way I try and make up for it is I say to a little go on holiday before, go on holiday after, and... Um, <laughs> Don't um, talk to me during. Yeah. Just... <laughs> but for me, it's just keeping the balance is key. Um, but... Just keep taking a holiday, mate. Yeah. Just keep taking a holiday. <laughs> mate, it's costing too much treats. money, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Winning the comps now, though, so that's all right, isn't it? <laughs> Joel arrives at the gym, and he's already feeling pumped. My DJ tour is starting to quiet down a little bit and I've had this big decision to make all summer, and I've made it. I've qualified for the finals. I've worked my ass off to get that qualification, and it's just not in my nature to let that sort of opportunity go. I'm just ready, my head's in the right space, and it's game time. Now all Joel needs to do is tell Sophie. Joel's rang us this morning, and he said that he wants to meet me at the gym. There could be a few things that Joel could want to tell us. The worst things I would imagine would be if you didn't want to be with us again, or him doing a competition. What is going on? You know, I've been thinking about the British finals all summer yeah. long, and I have come to a decision. Don't come to a decision, hear me out. I'm going to do them. Do you know what that does to us? For three years we've been through this, all right? And we always make it free. And I can't and do it anymore. Like, you can. Three years I've done it, you, you expect us to do it and, and more. Listen, I love you, yeah? I, but I love obviously you, you don't and love I want, us. I want because you, you can't love no. someone that you would, you would, you, you can't obviously love us if you want to go and compete in a competition because you know that, you know how much it is. So. That's all you can't do it with. Sophie, I will you can't do, do this to us. To keep our relationship as good as it is right now. And I promise you, but I will. Joel, I, need your, I need your support with this. I want you in my corner. I don't, I don't want you, you to do it because. I don't want it to break us up, Sophie. But, but it I, is I can't gonna break not, us I up. can't not do something. I just get so lonely when you do prep. But as my girlfriend, you're meant to love me, right? But you I need to support you, my dreams and my I love, passion. I, I've worked so hard. I love you. I don't love. Joel, I don't love the fitness boy. I don't love him. Sophie, if I don't do this, I'm going to regret it. And I'm... I don't know if I want this anymore. I just can't do it. I'm sick of it. So, thank you. So. Hi, baby. Okay. How you doing? Yeah, good, babe. Uh, good to see you. Thanks. Yeah. Right, let me get your hand. Sophie doesn't like me doing prep because prep is so difficult on relationships, especially if someone in the relationship is not doing prep themselves. And in this case, Sophie doesn't do prep, she doesn't do comps. Fitness is not a big part of her life. It's obviously not what she wants in a boyfriend. I don't wanna, I don't wanna lose the relationship over it. Joel's decided to stand down from competing and judge instead. You've got well hairy legs, look at you. Sophie was like, I can't stand you having prickly legs. <laughs> She's like, you fucking grow your legs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Got your head, got yeah. your head. <laughs> 
I will do everything I can to get her back on site. Joel invited Sophie along today. Hello. Hi. How you doing? You right? Yeah, I've got to see my family and stuff, but you know I would have loved to come. Yeah, it does start to make me think about the British finals coming up and... It's, it's not your time, it's been your time, it's, it's other people's at the minute. Yeah, that's right, that's right. It's not the time for me right now, yeah. Well, um, I'm going to have to go anyways, but good luck with everything. Yeah. All right, I love you. I wish you were here and I'll see you soon, love yeah? You, All right, bye-bye. I would love her to be here because out of anyone in my world, for her to be here just would have like been nice on the cake to be honest.